This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined with Matt Macklin in a, a nice local show for yourself. We're in Wolverhampton. Adam Azim fights for the European title against Frank Petitjean. Um, excited for a, for a show in the Midlands? Actually, I can uh, I can wake up in my own bed the uh, the, the morning after. Uh, yeah, it's good. Look, it's a shame that Ben Whitaker's off the card because I know you know initially the whole sort of driving factor to come here to do a show was a homecoming of sorts for Ben Whitaker but um, you know that's boxing injuries happen uh, he's on the Bournemouth card now uh, but you know Tyler Denny is fighting for the European title he's getting that shot and he deserves it you know he's, he's for I don't know how many fights but it's multiple fights back to back against undefeated fighters you know as the away fighter the underdog he's sprung the upset you know you, you want someone like that to get a shot. So, delighted for him. Uh, excited again to see Adam Azim out, stepping up to fight for European title in is it his 10th fight or after 10th fight, you know, pretty quick. So, uh, yeah, yeah I, you know, and listen, by the way, the, the venue, as a small all boxing, it's, it's a good venue. It's, it, they, I think the atmosphere will be electric. And, uh, you know, Tyler Denny's opponent's 44 years of age now. You know, more experienced, more proven, all that. but. You know, father time has got to be knocking on that door at some point. So, you know, with the crowd and everything, like, you know, maybe Tyler, Tyler Denny can get the job done. With it being Adam Azim, you know, 10th, 11th pro fight, to fight for European title, we see that he is almost getting fast-tracked in a sense. Is it exciting to see the, pro the progression? He's, he's moving at a fast rate, knowing how exciting that he is as a fighter. Yeah, well, I think, you know, the, the rate at which you get moved is, you know, dependent on your performances. And his performances have been scintillating. He's been blasting guys out of there. Uh, so he's proven he's beyond the level that they're, they're putting him in. So, yeah, it is. Look, it is, it is fast, you know, to be fighting for the European title. But he's, you know, he looks like he's a special talent. And, he, you know, he's definitely precocious. So it's, he, he is moving quickly. And you mentioned there Tyler, um, not just Tyler, but, you know, Liam Davies, so many other guys in the Midlands. Um, Midlands boxing is really far at the moment. For someone like yourself, is it exciting to see that we're getting guys like Tyler, Liam, holding European titles and potential on for big honours in the Midlands? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, there's, 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 there's a good venue as well in Resorts World. You know, it's just up the M42, which links to the M6, M1, M50. So, it's, you know, you're in the centre of the country. Uh, it's, a, it's a good venue. Uh, lots of hotels, all that ideal really for boxing. But you know, it's a big venue, so you need a star really to go there and headline. Uh, you know, Ben Whitaker, we believe, can definitely be that star. Uh, lots of star quality anyway, loads of ability and talent. I mean, injuries are a concern. Obviously, it's certainly um, hindered his progress. But then you've got a lot of good fighters that, you know, maybe they're not stars, Tyler Denny and. But they're solid fighters. They can certainly go number two or number three on a card, and uh, and they're in good fights always. So uh, yeah, look, hopefully um, the Midlands can really sort of you know, Fraser Clark as well. So yeah, look, it, uh, hopefully, it, it, like I say, the Midlands, and I would say in particular that venue, Resorts World, because it's kind of you got all the infrastructure around it, hotels, travel, you know, airport, train stations, motorway. So. It, that, that would be somewhere that could become like a real sort of home of boxing in the Midlands. Absolutely. Moving on to uh, other business in the boxing world. Yesterday we saw a press conference that I don't think anyone ever saw that they think, think they would see. Uh, Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder all on the same table. Um, seeing that, was you sort of shocked to see it all come together? Well, look, money talks. There's always a number. Um, and look, it's... <sighs> Maybe a third party that's got a relationship with both people it could be the, the breach kind of sometimes to get everyone to do a deal. Um, hopefully it's a sign of things to come. I think when there's enough money, fights will get made. But even for other fights, we maybe you know you're not talking that level of money. But hopefully there's um, once you, you sit down and you've realised you can work together and get a deal done, then that you know that's a good sign. It's a positive sign about moving forward. And you do see Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder on the card. Can there be a lot of frustrations that they're not fighting each other? Or is it sort of a, a nice one to whet the appetite that we can get a teaser of them two on a fight week together and then future down the line, maybe after this one, that they will fight each other? What way would you say you sort of look at it? Uh, a little bit of both, but probably, I'm 
for me, I'd be more frustrated that they're not going in against each other. But if it means, look, they're fighting each other, like, I don't, I don't think there's any agreement that they're definitely going to fight each other after this. So that's frustrating. I think this would have made more sense, and I think people would have gotten bored with it better if there was, uh, if it was written into a contract that the winners are going to fight each other. That's not the case, but I, I, I suppose there is a... It's moving in the right direction, and it looks like there's a willingness and parties will, will work together to get it done, but it would have been nice if it was now. Do you feel like there's a lot of risks? If you know, if that, I know it's not signed, but ideally people will bring them two together. Do you feel like the risks of Anthony Joshua taking on someone like Otto Valin and Wilder taking on someone like Pargo are both very much live opponents, risks that they potentially you know, may not come out on top? Definitely it's a risk, isn't it? Boxing's a two-horse race. And, you know, Joseph Park is a good fighter. I don't think he will beat Wilder, but he's a good fighter. It's not, it wouldn't be, you know, it's not impossible. And, and also, and the same with Otto Wallin, he's, you know, he's a, he's a solid operator. Again, I don't think he will be Joshua. It'd be a shock if he did, but, you know, shots happen in boxing. And another one, last one I just wanted to get your thoughts on, is obviously this card, there was numerous fights and announced, but one that sort of caused a lot of stir was we see Jarrell Miller back out. Um, first big fight back out after having his suspension uh, after Anthony Joshua. What do you make of his return to, to big time boxing in a sense on the world level? Um, well, do you know, like, with him failing all the tests he's failed, should he even be boxing? Do you know what I mean? And then, you know, he's, he's always been mouthy, hasn't he? So he's, he, I, it didn't shock me that he got quite loud at the presser because he always, he's, that's, he's always been that way. Just a, a last, last one from me. Um, we did see the sort of the, the couple early announcements of the new Sky for Sky going forward. Um, Michaela Meyer takes on Natasha Jonas, and we do see Buatzi Aziz um, rescheduled for June, uh, for February the third. I'm excited for the start of the year for Sky. Yeah, definitely, and, he, and even some, um, you know, there's the, some other fights as well that are like, you know, sort of domestic level that are pretty solid, good matchups. But definitely. Uh, Mayer and Jonas, that's a great fight. As women's boxing, that's a cracker. Like that's that's a fight where you you know you you're talking with people and thinking, you know, who, who thinks going to win that one? We're, we're not sure. We're quite divided. Uh, uh, Callum Smith against Maturbi. But I, I think Callum Smith will win that fight. I mean, it's a tough fight, it's a hard fight, but timing of it, you know, Maturbi is pushing on. Callum Smith moving up. I think he'll give him. That lease of life, that energy, you know, I, I, I fancy Callum to, to, to do that. Uh, and then obviously Aziz and Bawatsi, which got rescheduled. That was a fight I was always really keen on. Absolutely, Matthew, just want to say thank you for taking time to be Appreciate it. Enjoy this time in Wolves. Um, not too, not too uh, quite familiar for you, mate. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Thank you.